Hello, 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 uh, because actually, what your first thing you hear biryani, I've been told now, obviously, and so I know that when everybody, anybody thinks of biryani, Hyderabadi biryani is the most famous. Is the most famous and supposed to be the best. The best. Uh, we wouldn't know. Uh, we have not had Hyderabadi biryani in terms of in Hyderabad. Um, and I, I feel like you can't call that's like being like somewhere in LA has like New York sliced pizza. Doesn't mean you've actually had a New York sliced pizza, even if they're from Correct. New York. <laughs> Correct. That would be. Absolutely correct. <laughs> so even if it says Hyderabad biryani, doesn't yeah, mean it's Hyderabad biryani. Yeah, 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 exactly. Yeah. Uh, here we go. That looks delicious. Mm. Are you a biryani lover? Yes. If so, this one might interest you. It does. When you think about biryani, the first kind that comes to mind is the Hyderabadi biryani. Every day, a minimum of 3 lakh dinner plates of biryani are cooked and consumed in Hyderabad. Its flavor and aroma are a combination of the quality of ingredients, the cooking method and the experienced hand of the consumer. Thank you for that. The Hyderabadi kind is ubiquitous such that the food delivery app Swiggy said it delivered 3.5 lakh biryanis on New Year's Eve in 2022 to 2023 across Just on that the country, day? with 75.4% of consumers choosing huh. Hyderabadi biryani. The Persian word biryan means fried or roasted. I, I, there should be more. Why fried did it or roasted. The Hyderabadi biryani refers to parts of the meat at the bottom of the vessel that gets partially roasted due to high heat. So, what makes the Hyderabadi biryani special? Don't know. We don't know. Though there is no standard way of making Hyderabadi biryani, typically it is cooked in a deg or a vessel that has a wide bottom and a tapering top so it can be sealed after the layers of rice are added so cooking happens on dum or the steam generated inside the pot. Flaming charcoal is heaped on top of the sealed vessel for even cooking. Raw marinated meat and rice are cooked together to create the final product called the kacha ghost ki biryani or raw oh. mutton biryani. When the ingredients are cooked separately and mixed, it is called paki biryani. Wow. There are choices in meat cuts like nalli, marrow bone, or ran, pie, <laughs> and the the toppings of chili chicken and boiled egg. While the aroma and fragrance remain talking points, the key ingredient is the quantity of meat. Though the commercial biryanis have a rise to meat proportion of 80 is to 20, most wedding biryanis tweak it to 60 is to 40, thereby improving the quality. True Hyderabadi Shadi ki biryani uses 1.5 kg of mutton to a kilo of rice. The marinade comprises cumin, cinnamon, cloves, ginger garlic paste, green chilies, curd, milk, lemon juice and fried onions. The marination time between 4 and 6 hours is something restaurants cannot do as they are dealing with large quantities that right. must be served quickly. While there is no standard Hyderabadi biryani, leading caterers in the city say that the Davati Pakwan or traditional Shadi ki biryani is the true Hyderabadi biryani. Ugh, that looks so good. That's a lot of rice. Jeez. My wife would be thrilled. <laughs> We, I've actually made it on the on uh, my channel, um, 
I'm pretty sure it was Hydro Buddy Biryani. Let me know if that's correct. But once again, I, I, <laughs> I'm not saying I've had Hydro Buddy Biryani, but I'm pretty sure that's what somebody sent me. Mm. Uh, and it's it takes so long. I bet. Uh, did you do the full four to six marinade thing? It, just took, it, uh, it took hours. What did you use for the meat? Because my sus- it was yeah chicken. okay because I was my suspicion was you can get mutton it's just not easily acquired you have to go to a specialty shop yeah probably butcher to acquire it as yeah to like the regular grocery yeah. stores um, actually you know where I think you could get it now where for sh- I'm I'm ninety nine point nine percent so if you want to get it there's a Bengali store that's close to us that we've frequented and I promise they've. They've got it. They have a giant meat locker with frozen meats hanging, and I it would not surprise me one bit. We haven't bought it. We've bought fish that's straight from the waters of West Bengal yeah. in there that are they're frozen, obviously. But uh, it would not surprise me if they have mutton at that that meat market. I feel like a lot of um, people like from different cities that will, will move uh, and open restaurants highly favor it being the water. From their place, that yeah, makes the dishes makes a so huge unique. difference. That's the thing with New York bagels and hot dogs and pizza. Yeah, they, like so there's many, like, there's, there's something in the water. Import the water, yeah, from New York. Um, I guess that makes sense because obviously a lot of things marinate or mm-hmm. soaked in water, and so different places have different minerals. Yeah, in or, water. and different things. Like for example, there's a coffee. I wish I could get it. It's just so expensive to get because it's uh, when we were in Papua New Guinea twenty something years ago. There's coffee there that's grown in Papua New Guinea that tastes unlike any. I've, and I've had other beans that they claim are from Papua New Guinea. This particular local region that grows them in the mountains mm. has a particular flavor, but it costs like $20 for a small bag to get it shipped from Papua New Guinea. I wish I had the money to do that and support that local grower there because the, 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 there it's the most interesting, beautiful flavor, and it's it's regional. So even my suspicion is that, like most things, even if you make it here in the States, it's not going to be exactly the same if you got it in Hyderabad. Mm, you yeah, know? Absolutely. Yeah. Uh, anyways, uh, I'm very hungry. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> yeah. Uh, so, yeah, if there's other food videos, if this was wrong, let us know. Because yes. uh, we don't know. We don't have any uh, idea. So, people uh, screaming, banging on yeah, the computers yeah. right now. This let is us, not Hyderabad. Uh, let us know what other uh, videos we can react to down below.